Item number SCP-3749. Index, Apocalyptic Death Metal Sword. Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-3749-A is kept in a fitted, hermetically sealed case lined with shock-absorbing gel. This case is inside a vacuum-sealed vault equipped with an airlock. An electromagnet beneath the floor is kept powered on at all times. Entry to SCP-3749-A's vault requires BSL-5 biohazard protection and sterilization before approaching. The remains of SCP-3749-B through D are kept in similar vaults. Description SCP-3749-A is a decorative stainless steel sword that autonomously attacks all life. As bacteria and microorganisms qualify as life for SCP-347-A's effect, SCP-3749-A is constantly in high-speed motion as long as they are present. Analysis suggests SCP-3749-A bisects each bacterium individually, moving at speeds of up to Mach 4. SCP-3749-A is 75 centimeters long, with an iridescent purple finish and multiple superfluous edges and points that make it unfeasible as a weapon. SCP-3749-A's edges are extremely sharp. Electron microscopy shows them to be only a few atoms thick. SCP-3749-A is anomalously damage-resistant, and its edges have not measurably dulled. SCP-3749-A was discovered in an empty house previously owned by one Humphrey Bingham, POI-11928, an unemployed, misanthropic 43-year-old obsessed with the occult, eschatology, and the Book of Revelation. He appears to have created SCP-3749 by performing an arcane ritual with his collection of novelty weapons. The short-lived SCP-3749-B through D other novelty swords owned by Bingham were also animated by this ritual. However, SCP-3749-A likely destroyed them, their products, and Bingham himself. SCP-3749-B, C, and D were found covered in powdered human bone and biological residue matching bubonic plague, Yersinia pestis, and desert locust shells, Schistocera gregaria. After some difficulty, SCP-3749-A was brought to the nearest site and introduced to an airlocked vacuum chamber. An electromagnet and case were prepared, while SCP-3749-A was allowed to destroy the few microbes present in the room. When personnel equipped with BSL-5 suits prepared to enter the cell, SCP-3749-A was lying in the center of the room, sluggishly moving. Closer inspection showed it bending and attempting to cut itself before snapping back in place. SCP-3749-A was then safely placed into the case with the assistance of the electromagnet. In light of this, controlled use of SCP-3749-A to assist in containing outbreaks of Keter-class biological hazards is currently under consideration.